If you use a thread locker like Loctite on nuts and bolts, you may be under tightening them with a lower clamp load. In an earlier video, I compared dry and lubricated nuts and bolts and noticed that the blue Loctite sample had a lower clamp load than the dry sample. Time for another experiment. Here's my DIY clamp load rig. Tightening the nut pulls this eye bolt and creates tension between it and the other eye bolt. The tension or clamp load was measured by the digital scale in pounds. This digital torque wrench was used to torque each nut to 3 foot pounds. The nuts and eye bolts were used as is out of the boxes like most DIYers will use them. First, dry sample 1. And a clamp load measured 362.8 pounds. Dry sample 2 measured 369 pounds. For the blue Loctite sample, I applied two drops, spun on the nut, and immediately torqued it to 3 foot pounds. The clamp load measured 290 pounds. Blue Loctite sample 2 measured 269.8 pounds. The same process was followed for the red Loctite sample and the clamp load measured 230.4 pounds. Red Loctite sample 2 measured 233 pounds. In my small scale test, the dry samples had the highest clamp loads, followed by the blue Loctite samples, and the red Loctite samples had the lowest clamp loads. I'm guessing that the differences in clamp loads will be greater at higher torques. But don't just take my word on this. Check out this Nordlock video. I'll leave a link in the description below. It discusses bolt lubrication and friction and shows this graph with the clamp loads on the Y axis. Dry bolts are shown in red in the middle. The lubricated bolts are in green and have the highest clamp loads. The adhesive or thread locker bolts are in orange with the lowest clamp loads. If yours is a critical bolt application, be sure to follow the design specs for use with adhesives if given. If I got something wrong, hit me in the comments.